Lassie here. Today we are going to be looking at some SH Fjords figures of Sailor Moon and also Tuxedo Mask from Sailor Moon. I got both of these figures from Lunar Toy Store which is based in the United States and they only sell authentic figures. I decided to review these two together because they are just meant to be together and it would be just so perfect. So without further ado, let's begin by taking a look at Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon. <laughs> Here is a closer look on the packaging. As you can see, the packaging is really pretty. And here is how it looks on the back. So let's free her from the box. It's okay, Sailor Moon. You don't have to do any saving today. I will save you. Not Tuxedo Mask, but me, Lassic. <laughs> In the box, you get a manual which explains the parts that comes with her and also how you can change out some of the parts and assemble her together on her base. As you can see, all of the parts have their own spot in this plastic tray and they come all secured in. Aside from all of the parts that are already on her, she comes with three extra faces, an effect part, two moon sticks, one with silver crystal and one without silver crystal, seven extra hands, and Luna. Here is Sailor Moon out of the box. As you can see the proportion of this figure is just really amazing. Sculpting and the coloring of this figure is absolutely gorgeous as well. What's really special about SH Figures figures is that they have joints so that you have a lot of mobility. First of all, there is a joint on the base of her head so you can move her head however you want. There's also a joint on the base of her buns so you can actually position her little, I don't know what you call it, these bun tails? As you can see, the hair is super duper gorgeous. They shaded where there should be shadows. And also at the end of the tail, I don't know if you can see, but it's slightly clear at the end of the tail. It's more opaque here and then it becomes more translucent as it goes to the end. There's also a joint in the shoulder which allows her to move her arms. Joint in the elbow. See? <laughs> and also joint on her wrist. There's also a joint under her bust and also around her waist which makes her possible to move even more freely. You can move her side to side. Also, you have a joint at the hip, on her knees, and also around her ankle. She's doing the magic fingers! <laughs> As I said earlier, the paint job of this figure is just really gorgeously done. And here is a closer look at her default face. Her eyes are super sparkly and she has a smiling mouth with little blushing on her cheeks. And remember, she came with three extra face parts that you can switch out with. Taking a closer look at these face parts, you can see that two of them does have the tiara when one of them does not. Here is one of the extra ones. She is a little more serious in this face and she has her mouth open. And here is the second one with a tiara and she looks a little more stern with this face. And here is the last one. This one does not have a tiara and this one looks very similar to the second one I just showed you. Do you see the difference? They look pretty much the same except this one has a tiara, this one does not. To change her face part, you just have to pull her bangs out and then pull out her face. After you've done that, you can replace it with a face plate that you want to switch with. Push it in. Take a fringe and push it back in. And ta-da! Now you have a new face. Here are the hand parts she comes with. She comes with two fist parts which are completely closed. One holding hand which actually has a hole in the center for you to put the moon stick in. And then this I love you sign. These three finger hand part. And then this other one with a little more naturally curled hand part. Because these are hands, you have to be a little careful on which side you put the hand part on. So that you don't put your left hand part on right hand and right hand part on the left left hand. That would be a disaster. To switch out the hands, you just have to pull carefully like that and then just put the one that you want. Snap! And then let's switch this one out too. Ta-da! Now my Sailor Moon has new hand parts in. Here's a closer look on the effect part she came with. As you can see, there's a hand part on the bottom so that when you attach this to her, you can make it look like she has activated the Moon Tiara action. And let's go ahead and do that. We're going to switch this hand out. 
Kigao and now you can just repose her so that you can reenact the scene from the anime. She also comes with two moon sticks and the major difference is the center right here. This one has red center, this one's rainbow color. And also this one has a silver crystal as you can see while this one does not. I have gone ahead and switched out her hand so that she can hold the moon stick. So all you have to do is after you switch out the hand part, you can just have her hold it like so. It's so cool that she comes with so many accessories and so many hand parts and so many face parts. But not only that, she also comes with Luna! Here is a closer look on Luna. As you can see, she is also beautifully painted and wonderfully sculpted. And there's even a joint on her tail so you can kind of move it up around a little bit. Like so. And the final thing that comes with her is her base. So I'm going to take the base out of the packaging and I'm going to assemble it together. The waist part of the base actually opens and closes so you can shape them however you need. Then you simply put the claw around her waist and close it accordingly. And ta-da! She is standing on her base which looks awesome! Next, we're going to take a look at Tuxedo Mask from Sailor Moon. He comes in two different trays. The bottom tray comes with his cape and his face. And the top tray comes with the figure himself, his cane, his hands parts, some accessories, and the face parts. Here is Tuxedo Mask out of the box. And just like Sailor Moon, he has some really awesome joints. So you can move his head up and down and side to side because he has a joint on the base of his head. He does have a neck joint, which doesn't really seem to do much. He has a joint at his shoulders, his elbow, and his wrist. If you look at the back, you can see that he has a joint around his waist and also at his hips so that you can move his legs freely and also you can bend his knees. And though you have a bit of limited movement because of the bottom of his pants, you can kind of move his ankles also. And just in case you guys are wondering, yes, the hat is attached to his head, but do not worry because he comes with an extra part which will allow you to have him without his hat on. Also, you can see that with this face part, you cannot see his eyes because his mask is completely painted white. But with this one, you can see that even though he is wearing a mask, you can see his eyes. As you can see, he comes with separate hair parts here so that, like I said, you can have him displayed without his hat on. Here's another part where he has his eyes closed and here is the last part where he has his eyes open but he looks super serious i actually want to switch out his face to this one so i'm just going to carefully pull his head up and out we're going to just put this one on and if you want to just switch out his face plate you can definitely do that by pulling his bangs out and then doing it the same way as i showed you with sailor moon so we have his head switched out now he also came with five pairs of extra hands part and i put it on a piece of paper for you guys to see because his hands as you can see are white so it's quite difficult to show you as you can see all of the hands are positioned differently so you can definitely create many different scenes expressing different expression he also came with a cane a black cane which is quite simple and for the cane you can use these hand parts and of course he came with a rose you cannot have tuxedo mask without his rose and also this teeny tiny starry music box so perfect the last piece of accessory that came with tuxedo mask is his cape and this cape is so cool it's probably really really smart too and as you can see as I'm doing it you can actually open up his cape so you can position his cape however you'd like and as you can see, there's a little peg in there and you can see there's a hole on the back of him. So you just have to peg it right into him. And ta-da! So now that it's on him, I can show you more about this cape. Like I said, you can definitely open the cape, but you can also make it go up so that it's like he's walking through the wind and the cape is just flapping in the wind and he also came with the base which has this clear black color there are some roses drawn on and it says tuxedo mask on the bottom and there's a little rod which you will have to peg right into the base itself and in case you guys are wondering what do i do with this base do you see that there is a little rod on the bottom of his cape and this is where you're going to peg it right in 
like so. And what's really cool about having to peg the base to the cape is that you can have him kind of like floating like this. As you can see, he's not touching the base, so you can kind of make him look like he's jumping. But what if you want to make him stand still without his cape on? Well, in that case, he also comes with this claw-like thing that I showed you earlier from Sailor Moon. So you can definitely unpeg him from the cape and peg this part on and clamp it around his waist. So that was my quick review on SH Figuarts Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask figures. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So this is pretty much the start of my Sailor Moon SH Figuarts collection. Now I need to get more of them because they just look awesome and to be able to pose them is such a great feature to have if you ever watched Sailor Moon before please let me know who your favorite Sailor Scout is as always thank you guys so much for watching until next time